One of the very few artillery systems at AUSA this year is the South Korean K9 Thunder. For many years, the standard artillery system self-propelled of the Korean Army was the M109A2, which was manufactured under license from the United States, and over a thousand of those were built. The main drawback of that system is that it had a 155 39 caliber barrel. This one has got a 155 52 caliber barrel, so it's got a lot more range. It's also better protected and highly mobile. The Republic of Korea has never actually released any production figures, but it's rest estimated that probably almost 1,000 of these have now been built. Um, the maximum range depends on the projectile and charge system, but firing the old M107, it's probably around 18 kilometers, but firing uh, a longer range projectile, it can go out to 50 kilometers. It also has an onboard computerized fire control system, which allows it to come into action, carry out a fire mission, and redeploy before counter-battery fire is there. In addition, it's got um, a very interesting loading system which loads the projectile and then the charge, so that gives you a high rate of fire. As we said, it was originally developed for the Republic of Korea Army, but it's also had some considerable excess on the export market. Um, Finland is taking surplus vehicles. Um, Poland is using the chassis with their local turret. And in addition to the actual K9, there also is an ammunition support vehicle called the K10. And one of those would back up to the K9 and feed projectiles and charges into it. Scale of issue will probably be three K9s and one K10 ammunition support field. If we look at it here, you can see the long barrel and mounted over the barrel at the rear is a muzzle velocity radar and that measures each projectile as it's fired to, to increase accuracy. So it's highly mobile, currently in production in service to the Republic of the Army, normally employed in batteries of six weapons with each, each battalion or regiment having three batteries of six. So K9 is a highly mobile artillery system with a high rate of fire onboard fire control system and can be supported by the K10 ammunition support vehicle. It can fire a number of types of ammunition with a modular charges, including the older HE M107, which is very range limited. Then it goes on to base bleed rocket assist or combined base bleed rocket assist. In the future, perhaps a ramjet. But in the front of it, as you can see, is the US Raytheon Excalibur. And that allows targets to engage extended range with a precision effect. So the primary role of these type of artillery systems is to provide suppressive fire, as well as laying down smoke and illuminating. But when you've got something like Excalibur, it really gives you that precision fire capability, which conventional artillery systems clearly lack.